Can you believe it? I'm not supposed to be here, but here I am. Black folks do it all the time, and I understand they've been given a raw deal, but me? At a food bank? Reaching for cans of Spam? Well, I'm as lily white as they come. And what's even more disturbing, I'm not alone. There are plenty of formerly known as middle class white folks up in here with me. Lord, where on earth are my manners? I'm Linda Jenkins, and you are? Ruby Jones, good to meet you. So Ruby, what's your story? Lost your life savings investing in exotic derivatives based on mortgage-backed securities. Wow. What about me? Well, me and Charles, my husband, always dreamed of owning a home when we were young and in love. <laughs> Kept seeing two kids and a white picket fence. Now, I'm a planner, so we had to pick the right neighborhood, you know. Good schools, good supermarkets, the right neighbors. Colquitt's always been our home, so we never thought of living anyplace else. We scraped and pinched enough to save for that down payment. Took us five whole years. And when we met with the bank, Louise, my girlfriend, told us exactly what to say. Tell them you want the FHA. Louise had just refinanced and gotten such a good interest rate. Now, not only am I a planner, Ruby, but I'm also a sucker for anything on sale. So we went for the FHA. About two days before we close, I get a call from the mortgage broker, and he's telling me that the original loan is not going to go through in time and that we'd need to postpone the closing. Unless there is a loan I could process you for that's very similar. You'll barely notice the difference, he says. It requires less documentation, and your monthly payment might even be a bit lower. It's variable, but don't you worry, he says. You can always refinance in a couple of years. Get an even better rate. So he sends over the new papers, and I go through all the documents, and I gotta admit, it did look all the same to me. So I signed. We moved into our new home on August 23rd, 2004, and I am just thrilled. For the first three years, we're doing fine, working hard to make ends meet. But every year, we notice our monthly mortgage payments starting to creep up. Then Charles winds up losing his job in July. About two months later, we get our monthly mortgage statement and it says we owe $2,465.50, which is double our normal payment. So I just assume they ain't credited the last payment. But when I look at my interest rate, it says 9.75%, which is totally wrong. So now I'm confused. I get on the phone and I'm speaking to a representative from some other new company because they sold our loan again, and she tells me that the number is right. I say it can't be. Our monthly payment is $1,232.75. Well, she proceeds to inform me that we have what is called an adjustable variable rate mortgage which means that since the prime index of the what have you has increased god almighty percent and because they calculate our payment at xyz above the prime do da do da i'm like ma'am in english please she says your interest rate's going up and this is your new mortgage payment so i tell her well i can't pay this can't you give me another loan at a better rate she suggests i speak to a loan representative and gives me the name of a gentleman who's going to call me back he doesn't which forces me to leave 32, yes, I counted, messages on his voicemail. Well, I finally do speak to this gentleman two days later, and he tells me that if I had more equity in my home, I could refinance, but he doesn't believe that the house will appraise high enough to do me much good. So what do I do now? He says, you pay it. I pay it. Oh, really? And he just knows I got money laying around. So I asked him if there's someone else I could speak to. He says, you can try to go back to your bank, but I doubt they're gonna be able to do much for you, ma'am. So now, all of a sudden, nobody can help me. This cannot be happening. We did everything the mortgage broker said and we've paid our mortgage on time since the day we got it. There is no way we can do this new payment. I'm on the phone early in the morning, researching on the internet late at night, taking my lunch hour and sick days for appointments with every loan officer at any bank who'll see me. And in the meantime, I'm paying the original payment and leaning on our emergency credit card to help make the other ends meet. You should see the crazy notices I've been getting from the mortgage company. On Sunday morning, I'm in service, praying for a miracle. When I hear about this food pantry and a community development program to help stop foreclosures sponsored by the church. And so here I am, Ruby, pride aside, doing everything I can to make sure me and Charles ain't thrown out in the street. <laughs>
Thank you.